All right, boys, girls, Jordan. You loser. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> so, soccer is dead. Everybody thinks Monokuma did it, because, well, he's a butthole. <sighs> All right, Charlotte. It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura? Why oh, was that a question mark? It was a statement. <clears throat> Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again, and then... Then I killed her? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. <clears throat> that whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that, it saved me the trouble of having to go through with our little fight. Because even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. I'm upset that she's her head is just hanging in the right on the right side of the screen right now. I gotta tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she'd violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. So I don't know who it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe you one. Wait, you 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 owe them one? Oopsie. Before you get all pissy potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Because, I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> Fucking bear. What the hell? He owes them one? I hate him. I hate this whole thing. Well, I, for one, I'm glad it was Sakura. She was working for the Mastermind, after all. How can you say that now? Because I'm a giant douche canoe. Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway. Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Then let's decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Hina? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I I want to be here with Sakura. Okay. Then Hina is guard number one, but we need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me? You're always a thorn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. fine. I'll stay behind. Hmm. Then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. Before that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is... Hiro, Byakuya, Toko, none of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? I forgot Hiro was even in the room. <laughs> One of you killed Sakura. I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Don't be stupid. Our lives are in just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Let go. Well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? I won't ask you to let all of us in. Just let me. You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Why is my game so quiet? There we go. That's a bit better. Yep. Nope! Don't really care! I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. Hmm. And you, Hero, do you really object? Uh, if you're gonna go that far, what can I do? 
I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear. Then it's decided. Nothing's decided. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to his request. But, but... We have to find out who killed Sakura. For those of us still alive and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine. I guess that's okay. But no matter what, Byaku, you, 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 Byaku, yeah. You absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. Naturally. Who would want to touch a filthy dead body? That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone keep this in mind if we can't uncover Sakura's killer. All of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. Investigat. I better check the Monokuma file. The victim was Sakura Ogami. <clears throat> the time of death is estimated to be around noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Okay. I think the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door was blocked from the inside and there was no way in or out till we broke the window, then there's like zero escape, right? In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder. I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. But could it really happen in real life? And right before our very eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? Sh sure, if you don't mind. Bo -ba -do -ba -do. I like this music. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means that the killer commits his crime, then through some special method seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approaches include using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for that, all we'd have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? The second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh? Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap in the door, something like that. But in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school, and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off the list. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? They stay ways. hidden, and when the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. Sounds like it could have been possible. Maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final type is when it wasn't a actually a locked room at all. Not a locked room. In other words, By that I mean, there actually is an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. You see this a lot in novels and things, but in reality, it's generally not possible then you think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities. Then Kyoko, which of those four choices seems the most likely in this case? 
It's true. That is a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room. Oh, there you go. Until I figure that out, the truth between Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. Boing. Alright, somebody was playing Othello on the table. This looks like some kind of wrapper. Ah, that's... Do you recognize it, Hina? Well, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura. I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. <laughs> I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. You really like them that much? But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now they've lost all their flavor. Hina. Polka dot candy wrapper. Alright. Well, something behind her is busted. There are shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura was sitting in. The glass is all red, and these are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? So this must have been originally a bottle. Glass shards on the floor. Something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure that fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. Figure on the floor. Blued! Bloodstain on front of the magazine shelf. It must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? Magazine stain shelf blood stain. I'm not allowed near the body. <clears throat> Sakura drew her last breath sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally I wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her. But according to the Mon Monokuma file, she had also vomited blood. And I can see a trace of blood on our lips for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Okay. Maybe her getting hit on the head caused her to vomit blood? Not a chance. But Byakuya. <clears throat> That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting? Yes, most interesting, don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to the way she died. Oh, there's something else over there. Oh, that's what we threw in the room. But for Sakura, two have been killed. Yeah, she's not the type who... Did I miss something? No? That... Okay. She's not the type who would go down without a fight. It's and she true. certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. They would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So... It looks like a protein drink, and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. Meat juice. 
and she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I, I know. But still, this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. That reminds me. Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. Just a second. But that's strange. What is? Hey. You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass. They must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. Why does that matter? So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. I'm not sure I see how. Because I'm dumb as a bag of hammers. What you got, Hina? What the heck? We already know who did it. Oh, Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It had to be one of them. They couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Um, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Remember the last time you blamed somebody for murder? And you were wrong? Because you're a shitty detective? Then let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me... She said she'd left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon. The Monokuma file said, it said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry. That she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her, by force even, this never would have happened. Hina. It's impossible not to have regrets, I know. It bothers me that that says Aoi's account. The fact that she had asked those three to meet with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying. It might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. Oh, Byakukuk. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? So you found out. Interesting. Then it's true? <clears throat> that I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what it said? And risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Of hmm. course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Byakuya says he didn't go see her. Is that the truth? <sighs> I guess I have to accept it as fact. Come on. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Alright, thanks. Isn't... Oh, right, they got kicked out of the room. Oh! There are handprints on that locker. Locker's open, and on the inside... It's a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker, and it left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. And it looks quite fresh, too. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker, and they left behind a little something extra. So then... Maybe the killer hid in here until the locked room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Why not? Think hey. back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? <clears throat> oh, yeah. And the locker was already open at that time. Ah, oh, it's depressing. Indeed. So, there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then... What does this handprint mean? 
I have bullets that do nothing. I have confused bullets. That's the bottles that was broken. Oh, the figure's in the bottle. Four red bottles lined up on the shelf. <clears throat> and inside each bottle, there's a Monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is, how'd they get those figures inside the bottles? So... <clears throat> it's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. But, you know, where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside. You've never seen that? Oh, yeah, maybe? So no. this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Monokuma bottle! I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things a little by... No! The Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass, which probably started out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? The shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Okay, but that doesn't help us in any way. Does it just let me leave the room now? It's the only way out of the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock, and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window. Which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. <clears throat> the chair was shoved up against the doorknob, so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence of any ki that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. There was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with, so the killer must have created the locked door from the inside, not from the outside. Rec room door. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. <clears throat> Then you should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. Hey. I'll do anything you want. She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue. She wants to bang you. But she's right. I do have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Those other two probably went back to their rooms. Dead person, dead person. Dead person, Byakuya. Dead person, Toko. I pressed the doorbell. And after a few seconds... Ah, hello. Who's there? Ah, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. How? Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. Are you ever in a good mood? She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out into the hall. <laughs> what do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. Well, what? Uh... I don't know what you're talking about. Byakuya already told me she asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Senpai too? I just said two, didn't I? I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? How'd it go? 
I admit I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? All right, well, until I can prove otherwise. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. With that, Toko quickly went back into her hovel. Can I get Jill's account? Dead. Dead. Hina. Dead. Dead. Hero. That's pretty oddly spaced out, actually. Like, there's not a long gap of dead people. His real name is Taro. Bing bong. You know? What up, Makoto? Did you need something? You yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how, how Sakura wanted to meet with you. How'd you know about that? Wah! Did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your own special abilities awakened in you, man? But I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byakuya and Toko to come to. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Oh, well, when she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Yeah, a note. She, uh... She gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others, like in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So then you met and went, went and met with Sakura? No way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, the last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Um, do I still have it? Let's see. Hero was feeling around in his pockets. Ah, oh, sorry. Looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. What? what? Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on! Uh, sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash. Anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Pocket trash. Alright, so I've heard from Toko and Hero, but what next? crime scene again, but maybe I should go find out about the protein can. Sure, it must have come from the chem lab. Uh, we're gonna go to the chem lab. Since I know how to fast travel now. Why is Biaki in the chem lab? I don't want to deal with him right now. He's all mean and gay. Oh, hello. What? Makoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, got it. I think what you meant to say was, yes, sir, I understand. What? Why can't I click on any of that? 
This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should take a closer look at it. Looks like three shelves have been connected, but together to make one giant shelf. Shelf. Shelf, 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 shelf. But more important right now is the shelf powder that's been spilled off of the shelf. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. I have to be careful not to step in it. I don't want to catch shelf disease. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? Shelf. Looks like the chem... The bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. C4 is an explosive. Shelf bomb. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? It was on the fourth floor this... M I was on the fourth floor this morning. Checking things out. And at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled... So That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. If that really is when it happened, then it must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder. Shelf powder! Are these shelf put f footprints? And they're only in front of the shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. And the shelf. By we, do you mean me? How kind of you to offer. With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. Wow. Well, let's go. Chop, chop. <sighs> so I got to work, and before long, I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. Wow, I'm arty as fuck. Look at those shelves. Shelf. Uh, so how's this? Not bad. For you, I mean. For me? So, when you look at it like this... Interesting. Those footprints don't make any sense. Two, three, four... Huh. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be... It's Makoto, impossible. are they yours? What? No! Okay, then let me see your shoes, and I'll confirm their size for myself. I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Byakuya said. Hmm. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. I don't think that helps, because the poison was labeled on the sea shelf. Unfortunately? But with how cr clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Somebody with a shelf fetish, I bet. <coughs> then these prints are a really valuable clue. We'll know who attacked the shelf. Shelf prints. Uh, shelf on the left and that's it. Went straight there, did something and left. It's according to the footprints anyway. The prints are really clear, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out whose they were. Which means they're a valuable clue. But, okay, are we not going to get a truth bullet out of this? Broken glass. It's a broken bottle. Hmm. Okay. So, in other words... Uh, on this shelf. Shelf. One look and I can tell but it, that it's nothing but dangerous shelf chemicals. 
These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. Shelf murderers. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I can get her, guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit C. I guess I'm done here. What? Okay, I guess not. Shelving unit B. On this shelf, looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. Hmm. They're reagents. Put simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such arrogance for so long? It must truly be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? You know nothing about shelves, peon. You think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the world, real world? What if you were being murdered by shelves? That's fine. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Time to focus on the shelf. They're labeled with the letter B and a number. Belf. Shelving B. Nothing out of the ordinary here. I don't think I have to worry about that shelf. Time to worry about shelf A. What's on this shelf? Uh, something that doesn't belong there, for one. There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section shelf. But wait, there's more. There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? I should try to find out more about this shelving unit. Shelf. It's split into three shelf sections. Section A has dietary supplements, B is reagents, and C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have got the protein powder from shelf section A. But what concerns me is that in section A, there was a bottle with a label from section C. What was a bottle of shelf poison from section C doing in section A? There's definitely something going on here. Some self-obsessed weirdo. Some shelf-obsessed weirdo is murdering people with shelf poison. Alright, am I done here? What? Okay, yeah, I got it. Hmm. So in other... What? Oh, the powder itself. Okay. There's a bunch of yellow shelf powder scattered on the floor. It better not leave a footprint. Then they'll think I did it. Let me stare at that powder and put it up my nose. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. Looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. Also, it looks like someone left some footprints in the powder. But... We established all that. The powder would have had to been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Footprints in the... That doesn't make sense. Alright. Let's go look at the rec room. Is it on the third floor? Yeah, it is. Okay. Can I not fast travel right now? Seriously? Goddamn shelf murderers. 
<clears throat> Bye, Bianca Cock. These higher floors are confusing as shit. They're all laid out so poorly. Hey. Kyoko, I found a shelf! Makoto, how is your investigation going? I told Kyoko about the shelf, and what Hiro and Toko said. They didn't say anything about a shelf. That's how I know. So, along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they did not go see her. <clears throat> but it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I have made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You'd w do well to look them over one more time. Yeah, I bet Sakura's body has yellow shelf poison on her shoes. <sighs> Something to be discovered. Just, a second. Just staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Well, yeah, I know, but don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? I, there's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although, there are still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. You guys want to see a dead body? It's true. That's totally normal. Then how can you... I Sorry. imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Look, she has the poison. The shelf tried to kill Sakura, I knew it. Correct. You see that yellow powder in on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. I that see. powder is clue number one. Yellow powder. Hey. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot. So let me just explain. It would, it would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow but instead received two blows to the head. T two blows. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There is absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Kyoko's examination summary. She was able to learn all that just by poking a corpse. Hit it with a shelf. You'll glean a lot of information by shelving that body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. She's gonna find the shelf murderer. Something new. Something new. Hmm. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay attention and you're sure to find out that they're all chess pieces. A correlation. Oh wait. That means there's another bottle missing. Because the knight would be there, and the queen is missing. Um. Um. Kyoko, can't you just tell me what it is? I'm dumb as fuck. So... I don't mind guiding you toward clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. Yo, you're hot when you do that. 
And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Monokuma bottle has been updated in the truth section. Hey. Uh, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's been bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? Are you going to beat me with it? An experiment? Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. Don't get stabbed by the glass. You sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine, and that obnoxious Byaki is not here, so... Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. What did she... Unknown correlation between them. Okay, so it didn't actually give me any information. Uh, with that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what this is about, but what choice do I have? I'd better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. And just as I finished up, sorry to keep you waiting. So is everything ready? Then let's get to work. That's such a devilish smile. So what kind of experiment are we doing? I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? The pieces of glass you collected and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It will make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of the two of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. Boing. It is balanced. In other words. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The Monokuma figurines inside are basically the same, and nothing else could really affect the weight. So then. Now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now, what might we expect to see? Well, a uh, normal assumption would be either they'll balance out, or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So okay, then. then. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's going to be heavier. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier. How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together and I believe you will rely, re arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. Uh, okay. I know what it means. Can I tell N Makoto what it means? Kyoko said that the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Clue, clue, clue. That magazine's upside down. Someone put it back that way on accident. Miss Muscle appears. Cosplay King. Pat, you put your magazine back upside down on the shelf. The shelf gods are angry. Hey. If someone catches something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. Oh! This is... On one of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word had been written in bold, bloody letters. And it said, TOKO. Could this be... a dying message? Correct. Then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. 
It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. Hey, is that... That says Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Then she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. It's settled. She's the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you would think that, but... It just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. Dying magazine book. Put it back on the shelf. It's time to get to work. Sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay away. But you pinged us. That doesn't make any sense. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Unfortunately. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! It's already time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. I have no evidence. Like, none. I have nothing to pin anybody on any pin anything on anybody. Although this room's a lot nicer now that there's not a million people in here. Monokuma made his announcement, and everyone began to meet up, one after another. And then... The ultimate martial artist! A locked room murder mystery! What the... Oh, I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons! Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive. For example, you're at a picnic and you find a dead body XD. This is just plain creepy. And how about the reverse? No matter how great something is, if you put in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. For example, do you have a hundred friends? Sad face. But that Okay, fine. I'll allow it. He's right. That does make it seem sad. I can't wait. I can't wait. Now please get on the elevator. Ooh. Oh my god. I'll see you all down there. Where's my woo face? Is he going to woo-woo? I think he's going to woo-woo. What the hell was that? I don't get it. I don't get you guys. How can you act so casual after murdering someone? Uh, I don't think I'm acting casual. Uh, I mean, I didn't murder anyone. Yeah, I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? Whatever. Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt, one of us is the culprit. The one that murdered Sakura. She was stronger than anyone I know. And yet, someone killed her. It's because we had that really muscular panty shot. The shelf was angry. And that person is here? That person is one of us. Oh, god damn it. It's time to put an end to this. I made my way toward the elevator. 
But with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel a chilling fear running through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. No matter how many times I go through this, it never gets any easier. We climbed into our steel prison in total silence. We watched the doors close and felt it begin its sinister descent. When the doors opened, the shelf was standing there, mouth agape, ready to swallow us whole. The elevator lowered, uttering its all too familiar shelving sounds. It fell lower and lower, and as suddenly as always, the ride was over. The doors opened once again. Ooh, we're in Egypt this time. Mm, just the six of you, huh? Really? That's so few, you must be so lonely. You say that like it's not your fault we're all that's left. I wonder, will the class trial end with one less classmate again? Or will your school life come to an end completely? Now then. Are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. So the curtain opened for the fourth time. Deadly judgment, deception, betrayal, riddle, defense, faith, class trial. Death. Death, 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 death. Set skills. That doesn't really matter. But I want that. So that is your aim a little. Time limits. I didn't really have a time issue. Oh, okay. I can only have one of them equipped. That makes sense. Explanation of the class trial. So your votes will determine the reason. We know this is the fourth time I've had to murder somebody. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Hmm. Now then. To begin. We already know who did it. Again. Whoa. Whoa. Deja vu. The one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Hyakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'd never kill someone. No way. I don't want to hear your stupid excuses. Hina seems really sure that one of those three is the killer. But she must have some reason for believing that. Hina's account. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. 
You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have her. Hold on. Some concrete reason why Hina success suspects those three. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? No. No. Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. Is one of them a shelf? Can't disagree with that. There's good reason to suspect all three of them. Does that mean one of them did it? Pocket trash. deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. No, it's wrong. Bang. Kira, when we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? It was white with red poke marks. Oops. What's that got to do with anything? Red polka dots? That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. No, it's... it's... um... Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hiro, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation! Uh, um... Well, I mean, yeah, sure, I got it from her, but, but she gave it to me forever ago. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her. When? When did she give it to you? The last time you saw Sakura was when Hina had... Oops. So I, I didn't mean to click that. Sometime before then. What Hero said can't be right. Because Sakura could only have gotten the candy after the incident in the nurse's office. I got it. And I'm not sure about that, Hero. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy till after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Yep. Damn it. I mean, what I meant was... Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem? Really? Why indeed? It's not just normal hostility. You're the real culprit. I even have proof. You do? Proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking about her shining message. What? What would a shining message even be? At the scene of the crime, she had written out Toko in her own blood, right? It was her dying message. 
just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Togo did it. What are you saying? No way. I didn't do it. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Uh-oh. Why does he co keep calling her Ogre? But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Wait, hold on. When Kyoko found the magazine with the message, it was... on the magazine shelf. I got it. Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf. Shelf! That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. There's a lot of shelves in this case. I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we'd started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, <sighs> does it? No. Doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect Nothing sense. Nothing you ever say makes sense. There's definitely something strange about it. Kyoko found the message during the investigation, in which case, that clearly contradicts what Hiro told us. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the Oops. magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. When he first found the body. At that time, was there a magazine? Where was the magazine? I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. No? What's wrong? Did I say something weird? I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? Mm. What I said makes total sense. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. Okay, back around. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. Got it. <sighs> when Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it, after we'd begun the investigation. And you weren't at the murder scene, so there's no way you could have seen it then. Tell us the truth, Hiro. When did you see the message? Uh, hold on! You're focusing on the wrong part! Why does it matter when I saw it? All you gotta do is read the Vienna Sausage, Ogre left us, and we know who what? the killer is! Toko! I don't even know where to begin with that one. He's just trying to confuse us. Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Um, yeah? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. 100% without a doubt she wrote it and this is me talking so you know it's true. what without a doubt no 
I absolutely do doubt it. There's no way Sakura wrote that message. Uh oh. Show me the proof. I'm at least thirty percent right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least thirty percent right. The occult is bullcrap. completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger, but both of her hands were completely free of blood. What? Who, who did write it? Hero could very well have written it himself. Hi, Mondo. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? Because... Because I killed her! What? You're admitting to killing her. Please! Let me explain what happened. I'm confused. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. And when I got there... Sorry, but do you mind waiting? I asked a couple of other people to meet as well. Okay. Would you like a piece of candy? It might help give you some energy. Oh, sure. Thanks. And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was going to try and kill me. She was going to kill me and make her escape. So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I... I hit her from behind before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just... went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught executed so i wrote toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and i ran away i can't believe you you're the worst i hope you die well that's what happened go ahead roast me boil me do whatever you want you're not gonna get off that easy it's death death for the one that killed sakura all right calm your tits we're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. No, I think there's more to Hero's story. What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hero's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. What is it that Hero did that doesn't make sense? He would have, what would he have had to do after writing the message? just said it doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden does it by the time the body was discovered the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf 
Why would you take the time to write that message? Then stick it somewhere we might not find. Ah. <sighs> oh. Well. Uh. I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? What? He's lying. He's gotta be lying. I don't see any reason he would lie now after already confessing to the crime. Then he's not lying. Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back. Oh, have you something to say, Biakia? In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Someone who didn't like what had been written. Well, yeah. I got it! It had to be Toko, right? Look. Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Is he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Wait! But more important, that doesn't even matter. We already know who did it, right? Hero just admitted it. That's right. I killed him. No, you didn't. Who will ask you? I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bot. But that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. You can't be serious. That's just... I don't believe it. Hero, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so, what do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. Hero isn't the real killer, and I have to prove that. Uh, okay. Hold on. Nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. No, it's wrong. Mm, two blows to the head. If Sakura died from Hero's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. <sighs> That's right. Yeah. She had two separate wounds on her head. Ah. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a <laughs> Personally, I'm inclined to I mean But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two monokuma It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. That we never noticed before when they were in the room. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf. Uh-huh. And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chest piece it had inside. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? Black. For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? That's easy. <sighs> if 
you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. The correlation between the Monokuma bottles. I feel like it's starting to become clear. That connection must be the object of the Monokuma figure inside each bottle is holding. Okay. Shelf. That's it. The chest pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chest piece. King, Brook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. Yep. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knife, if I remember. So, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and... Pawn. Oh boy, it's high school DXD time. High school shelf DXD. What was left in high shelf DXD. Were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh, so the queen is missing. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? <sighs> <laughs> bottle is connected to this case how is it clear think about what state the missing bottle must have been in maybe then you'll understand then the bottle that was missing it was excited it wanted to get put on a shelf the bottle must have been broken what makes her so sure because there was evidence of the scene that supports it Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? It wasn't just a single broken bottle, and the evidence that proves that is... Kyoko and I figured it out before. that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. What? So from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. It took a long time to get to that conclusion. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. But when they did... They must have left behind a few too many pieces, which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Reasons. I gotta watch the clock. Because of what it would reveal about the case. There can be no doubt that the second missing Monokuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by... Some bowling aficionados. I got it. The bottle 
that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? <laughs> and there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait, I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but, but there's no evidence I had anything to do with it. No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy. Half an hour ago, he was saying that he's always right. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it. Huh. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out. <sighs> so I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. What? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come for this. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear. But maybe she, but found, maybe somewhere she found somewhere to hide. Or hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but... No, it's not ridiculous at all. I need proof that shows she was hiding in the rec room. And I have it. She left it there for anyone to find. Oh, come on. Uh, absolutely. Pressing the left mouse when they're in your final strike without a second thought. From now on, you're going to have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow. Now you'll have to choose the proper truth bullet to use during your coup de grace. You'll select it the same way as during the non-stop. Okay. Uh, if your logic difficulty is set to kind, you'll have fewer bullets to choose from. We're going to pretend you're set to mean regardless, just this once. You're about halfway through the game now. Go you. Halfway? What do you mean halfway? I'm like 30 hours into this nightmare. Okay. It's a lie. I admit nothing. I hate you. I curse you. No, no, no. This is not. I admit nothing. I curse you. I curse you. It's a lie. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, hold on, hold on. Are you gonna put it back on the screen? What was that? Prove it. 
That was neat. Did you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the locker? I don't remember how to reload bullets. I think it was the tab key. Hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? It doesn't. Okay then. Let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Then you, then you killed Sakura. I don't think she did. No, I swear, there's no way. Out with it. I probably did kill her. <laughs> Yes, senpai. Straight up again. Wait, what do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Talk. Now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go, but I was too scared to face her head on. So I... I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a, like a monster growling. And when I turned around, there was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. When I saw all that blood, I fainted right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Oh, great. <laughs> Get it, back. it was your fault after all. My fault, Master's fault. When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights. Okay. Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wonder. So I opened my eyes to see. <laughs> everywhere! I was not prepared for that. Well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked it with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! That tongue, though. And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. <laughs> but I just can't catch a break, you know? They've got it out for me. Because normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on. That's, you know. But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre. So that's good. So that's good. Keep talking like that and Hina's gonna... Well then, that's that. Let's start the boat. I thought for sure you'd have some words for Hero on that one. What's wrong? Come on, everyone. We're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. Does she have the Monokuma eye thing on her pants? No. Not quite yet. Huh? Not yet? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Who 
Hiro's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. It wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. You're a gaggle. You wish it like a man, darling. Ah, <sighs> uh, it's not over yet, is it? The one who killed Sakura is... I don't know. Uh, status of the body, yellow powder. Okay. I was just sleeping peacefully. And all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me. I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shell. So you were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! Oh. I killed her there in front of the shell. Hold on. sitting upright in a chair if the blow by the shelf was the cause of death there's no explanation why she was in that chair so you finally noticed that's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer I mean, maybe are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair no i'm sure she's telling the truth anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way this has to be it the evidence that proves there was an attack in front of the magazine shelf. Hold on, what? Stained by the magazines is proof of that. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. Yeah. There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. Then, then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? The biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. Oh, so she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No. I don't think that's possible. The reason there's no way she was hiding in the locker is because... A gun! Even before we open the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. <sighs> Hold on. I gotta do a thing. So I'm gonna turn this off for a minute. Until I get back. <laughs> <laughs> 